Man, noisy in the shop today. Guy was making all kinds of noise. We'll have to see what he's doing. Okay, let's just recap. Uh, I did not plan on doing butt welds, but I'm an idiot and cut things too short. So, I'm stuck with it. So I might as well show you my method here. <clears throat> A little tight in this corner. You put the patch panel up, you get it close, and then you get it so that it's um, over the body. And you just, you press it in where it's gonna fit, okay? I took a Sharpie marker, and with it tight, I stenciled tight around it. Now that's gonna show me exactly where I have to angle grind to to get these butt welds to butt up nice. And you just do that around the whole perimeter. And it's really just trial and error until the whole thing fits in there nice. Now here's another thing. This inner lip, rotten. So I have to put a patch in there. But I'm gonna fit this patch first before I cut that out. That way I can use the, the measurement to my advantage. This is where it's supposed to go factory. And if I have that there, I know that I can fit this right. So the bottom line is there is uh, don't get ahead of yourself and uh, try and use certain parts of the body to your advantage because that's gonna make sure that I get an accurate placement for the, for the external patch. What do you think? Oh yeah, I mean I got the patch in there. It's all packed in. It's, I didn't warp it crazy, which is good. And I think it's it's gonna work good. Not warped, huh? Yeah, I gotta finish finish tacking it up. Yeah, that looks that does not look warped to yep. me. You got her tacked in there pretty nice already. I do. But yeah. you're slowly you're you're welding it slow, right? Welding I mean, slow. If you weld too fast, you're gonna warp like crazy. I mean, it's just gonna buckle and everything. And you wound up doing butt joints after all. I did. Because I cut too short like an idiot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. It does. Yep. Looks good though, Con. I have, yeah. I mean, it's... It does. We can, it's we can we'll dial it up. Yep. It's a good way to get a driver on the road. Getting back to being solid. Solid. So I'm going to finish fill in all those spots and grind it off and it'll be it's in just a little so a nice band of bondo right through there it's, you never notice bondo it. what's that stuff yeah well the thing is the more you warp it the thicker your bondo <laughs> yeah i know so less warp is good that looks pretty good yep looks good enough i'll let you do the dodge sure cool